Hi there again and welcome to the final part of our Motion 5 tutorial on um, how to build this little title bar that we can animate onto the screen. So in the first tutorial we covered how to build our 3D cube uh, out of two dimensional objects and then we've uh, covered animating it, we've covered using the layer masks on the text to um, show it on the screen and now we want to hide it. So. Um, if we play our animation and we want to leave the title on probably till about frame number 90 and then we want to take the title off of the screen so again we're going to use our keyframe um, animation for this so let's start with the cube so we're going to want to select our cube group because we want to animate the whole group not just the um, the uh, one um, face of the cube and we'll go to our properties and in the position we'll add keyframes for all of these again and for our rotation again we'll add keyframes for everything there as well now we want it to spin off in about 15 frames so we'll scroll up to 105 and at 105 we're going to want to have moved our cube back off of the screen and we're going to want to put the rotation back to zero. So we should find now our cube will spin off the screen. The same as how it came on. So it comes on the screen and it spins off. Now before it spins off, I want our um, text and um, title bar to also scroll off. So we'll probably start at about frame 80. So let's select our rectangle and we go down to our crop properties and we'll add a keyframe. Uh, remember we're cropping the left side so we add a keyframe there for this and then we'll scroll up to frame 90 just before the cube starts and we want our crop to be all the way back over the other side so that our title bar has disappeared so let's watch that and then we also need our text to disappear with the title bar so again we'll go to frame 80 where we start we go up to our rectangle mask here and we're going to want to add our um, keyframes again for everything and then we'll keyframe this so let's scroll along at this point we're going to want our mask to be here and by frame 90 we want the mask to be all of the way over to the other side so let's play that nah. So let's play that all from the beginning. Comes on and it disappears off. So you can play around a little bit just with the timing. You can see here again the um, mask is lagging a little bit. So we'll just speed it up a bit there. I just want to make sure that it's always a little bit ahead of the title bar there we go and the same when it's coming on a bit ahead so we want to slow it down a bit same here there we have it so we just finished off the finishing touches there and it scrolls back so our animation is finished by frame 
115, so we can drag this back to frame 115. And we can probably adjust all of our videos as well to finish at frame 115. Now if we play this, it'll loop over and over again, I think, every time it reaches the end. There. So that basically is our um, title. Now we want to get this into Final Cut Pro. So that's um, pretty straightforward. There's a couple of ways we could do it. We could export it as a movie um, and, and import it just as a normal movie clip into Final Cut Pro. But that's not so versatile. That means every time we want to change the title text, we're going to have to always come here into Motion, edit it, re-export it. So we can export it as a generator to Final Cut Pro, and then we can edit it within Final Cut Pro itself. So that's pretty easy to do. Again, we'll just go to File and um, Publish Template. We'll call this um, Cube Tutorial. Publish as a Final Cut generator. I've already created a category in Final Cut called Cube Titles. And then we just go to Publish. And that's it. It'll be done for us. So we come over now to Final Cut Pro. Let's just wait for that to load up. And we should find now that our um, title will be available within Final Cut Pro itself for us to bring into any of um, the, the movies that we like. So. Uh, you see here in my generators, I've got the cube titles category and there's our cube tutorial. So I'll just be able to, uh, there we go, you see. We can drag this in, the Final Cut Pro itself. Um, so we put it in above our video clip there. Just wait for that to render out. Yeah, it's take a few moments. Uh, it's a little bit slower than usual because I'm also doing the screen capture at the same time. Now we play that, and we should find that our cube title will spin onto the screen there. There, and off we go. So. That's it. Um, now you can edit that, of course, within Final Cut Pro. Um, if we select our um, generator there, get the text up on the screen. We can change this text. We select it over here. We can uh, we can change the text type if we want, so it can match our um, our theme of um, whatever video it is we're doing. So you can edit the text within Final Cut Pro itself so that it will um, match whatever it is that you wish. And you can also change uh, just open up Final Cut Pro again. You can also change as well the, um, uh, the actual wording of the text also. Um, so that's basically uh, how we, we export the um, final motion project into Final Cut Pro as something which we can actually use. Um, there we just edit our text to fit it into our title bar. And that's it. We're good to go. We can change it here. And let's just play that. Now, there's our title, successfully made in Motion 5, imported to Final Cut Pro. So I hope that you found this uh, useful, and um, uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, I'll see you in my uh, next tutorials. Thanks for tuning in.